Okay, so for first timer, uh, you need to go to this search courses and you search ICT 211. Okay, then you need to self enroll in this programming and interfacing. The password or the enrollment key is ICT 211A. Okay, you need to click this one, but since I'm already enrolled, so this, welcome to programming and interfacing. Okay, so for August 24 to September 6, uh, these are the different topics. Okay, then you can click the different resources. Then you can start the assignments different assignments okay so let us say i'm gonna switch role to student okay so if you're gonna click assignment one okay so these are the instructions okay then in order to submit, you need to click this add submission. Okay. Then you need to click this one to add file. Okay. Then you need to choose. Then you need to browse which part of the file you're going to upload. That's it. Okay. So let's go back to the dashboard. Then, okay, so our discussion for today is no longer uh, that week. It will be on the uh, programming, okay? So this week, September 7 to September 27. You need to click this C language part one. Okay, if you're going to click that one, Okay, can you see the C language? Oh, screen sharing is post. Zoom share. Uh, sorry, I need to change my sharing. Okay, so C language. Okay, so the question is why C? So to make the story short, it is the mother language. So it is uh, the one responsible for creating software drivers, kernels, or even operating system. Okay, so we're going to skip this part. We're going to read uh this one so we're gonna direct to go directly to the c program so this is the anatomy of c program okay you have the preprocessor directives this part okay then you have the different global declarations including uh, an optional function prototype. Then, the main function, uh, which is end main. Then, you can create your sub-functions. You can name it function one or any function. Then, as well as function two. So this is now the sample Hello world, no implemented in uh, two separate sub functions, hello and the uh, world. Okay.
Okay, so we go directly to our first program, which is Hello World. Okay, so there are how many lines? One, two, three, four, five. So this is the shortest line possible. Okay, so I'm going to open code blocks. Guys, can you see the code block? Okay, so I'm going to change my resolution to make it bigger. By the way, code blocks, you can download it. No? It's there and uh, the resources. Particularly in the online resources, we're going to click. Uh, oh, where, where is my use step? Use step. Okay. Okay, so. It's there below the the week. It's there online resources. But anyway, uh, seems that I'm having a problem <coughs> with. Oh, why is there somebody's laughing? Okay, so go to my dashboard. I know. Then you go to. Programming and interfacing. Okay, so it's there. You click this online resources. Okay, click this online resources. Okay, so this, these are the different. Uh, uh, by the way, for those who are not uh, going to ask questions, kindly uh, turn off your mic microphone. Okay, so these are the different links. Okay, any question? Do you have any question? So we go now directly to code blocks. Okay, so you need okay, to Okay, click... plus plus gamiton, sir. Okay, so it's C. By the way, it's uh, the language we're going to use is C. It's not C++. It's Android. C. It's Android, sir. It's Android. CPP okay. Android. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, so for the Android, since you're... Asking for an advanced question. Actually, that's the next example uh, I'm going to use. But anyway, since... Uh, so, it's here. Oh, sorry. View. Oh, there. C CPP Droid, okay? For those uh, who don't have any... Uh, Can I close this one? Anyway. Okay, so you can download CPP Droid. Okay. How the, the world I can close this one? Anyway, 
uh, you can use a CPP droid, no? Uh, let's continue with uh, code blocks. Okay, so for those who are using desktop, you can download, okay, code blocks. And you need to click the new file. It should be an empty file, okay? Then the, the first line must be the preprocessor directives. So include chart, include the standard input output library with the header sir, file. Excuse, okay. excuse me, sir. Can I have a sir? Okay. Sige. Can I have a question, sir? Can I have a question, sir? Can I have a question, sir? First timer, sir. Can I have a question, It's up to them, no? Oh, sige, sir. Ako sa ngayon, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, so let's continue. So this, the first line is the preprocessor directive. You can add any library no, or created library. Could be ma mathematical in nature or it could be other form of library that you created. And the next... Okay, so the next line would be the main function. Okay, kindly mute first, guys. Okay, so this is the main function. You notice that these are uh, open brace and close brace. So the open brace connotes uh, start, no? start of the function. The close brace connotes uh, close function okay hello yeah okay murag na amay nanawag diya sa cellphone paki mute sorry sorry sir sorry sir wait lang sir ah okay so so in the main function uh, the function print if we're gonna use okay so print if then it should be open close parenthesis and let's say hello world Okay, then it should be terminated by a semicolon. Okay, so this is how short our code is. No, there are five lines. Okay, so the next is you need to build and run. Okay, so let's say I'm going to save this as hello world.c. All right, so you notice that there are colors already. Okay, then we'll wait. So it's still uh, compiling. And later, oh, there. Now, it, will be, uh, it will be generating... Uh, executable file that's why the file now is hello.xc or a binary or a machine language okay so hello world any question you need to close this every time you uh, generate uh, a new uh, code what will happen if i'm going to add slash or backslash this backslash backslash slash n Okay. Let's compile, build and run. Okay. Who can tell me uh, what's the difference between the first and the second code? The adding is, uh, slash n, I guess. This is forward slash or yeah, uh, back, backslash, uh, backslash, I guess. Who can tell me? Anybody? Good job, line, sir. Very good. Okay, so the cursor now is below the hello world. No? So the slash, uh, the, is it backslash? Is it backslash N means new line. Very good. Okay, so let's try the... Uh, I'm having a problem with my resolution. I need to go back to a bigger resolution. Okay, so where is my 
simulator. Uh, okay, I need to close this one and let's go to CPT Droid. Oh. Okay, so you can go to Play Store. Admit all. Okay, so you can search here in Google Play or even in a uh, Google search engine. Just simply type CPP Droid. So you can support C++ as well. Okay, so this is the CPP Droid. Okay, so nanay katulgon diha. Pakimute sa inyong mic. Itong katulgon. So, please bear with me. Okay, you need to open this one. Okay, so this is now our CPP droid. Okay, pakimute sa mic. Include. Okay. Then, sharp include. Then, again, standard IO. That H, it's a header file. Then, the return type data type of our main function is integer. You can change the data type. It's up to you. Okay, then the curly brace will be the start and the stop of the main function. So let's use a, a printif function. Printif. Okay. Hello world. Sir. Hmm. Then terminated by yes. Can you see the the CPP droid? Yes, sir. Claro, sir. Okay. So you need to save the file. Okay, you need to click the save. Save. Then, oh, what's happened? What happened? Then you need to click the compile. Okay, so it's now compiling. Okay, let's wait. Okay, it's compilation is finished. Then you need to click this one to execute. Hello world. Okay, so can you see now the the, the result? Oh, hello world. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue with our slide. Okay, that's for the hello world. Then the next is, you can also use online compilers. Okay, you can search for online compilers. You can use this one. Okay, so this is for example for the CPP droid. Now, the question is how to make horizontal hello world three times. Okay, simple. All you have to do is to replicate Hello World three times. Uh, go back this one. Okay. So for practice, you need you don't have to copy and paste. You just keep on typing Hello World. No. Then the, so 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 you will be familiar with. The syntax, okay, and you're gonna be uh, get used to it. Hello, world. Okay. Let's say we're gonna put some space. Okay, you need to put some space. Okay. So, oh, there's an error. Expected semicolon. Okay, so you need to add a terminator, which is a semicolon. Okay, you save. Then you compile. Compilant fi compilation finished, then you need to play. 
Okay, so what happened? What, what is the result? Anybody? Vertical, sir. Ah, very good. It's horizontal. Hello world is, is uh, displayed uh, horizontally. Now the question is, how can we make hello world display three times in the in the screen or the monitor and the console vertically? So on so on, man. Anybody? I very good. Add slasher. Okay, very good. Okay, so we need to add new line. Very good. New line. Ayo, magcharge ko. New line. Oh, kanang nagcharge da pake mute. Okay, so again, you need to save. Okay, you need to compile. And you need to play. Oh, there you go. So you see the difference? Guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. very good. So, pila ng takabok dar eh. Ah, saan naman ito? Saan ito nagpagta na? Oh. Ah, dali dali. Ah, participants. Oh. Okay. I just need to do some screenshots. Just part of documentation. Oh, I'm still admitting. Oh. Uh, print screen again. Okay, so print screen. Okay, I need to paste it here. Uh, let's say another file. Holy cow. Save us. Let's see, this is number two. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, what's the next? Uh, hello world. Three times. Okay, so this is for the code blocks. Okay, so vertical code blocks. Now this time... How are we going to implement Hello World in a, a little bit uh, using uh, several functions or creating two functions? Okay? So the reason why we need to do this in order to exercise later, you know, as, you, as you do complicated programming or uh, lots of coding, you do not... Uh, uh, by the way, can you see story mute Okay, so you need to create a summoning aligong ngog dia sa ang ito pag mute Anyway let's continue Okay, so functions So let us say hello You need to create a hello with a void return type the task or the function is just simply hello no print hello then the world is another function the task is simply print world so that in your main function no you, get, you can on, you can only uh, on, you can only uh, put here uh, functions no that you created no? In the main function, all you, have, all you can see is our functions. No? The details of the function are found below. Okay, what are its functions? Let's say you want to program a robot. No? There are a lot of codes here to make the robot uh, move forward, no? controlling the, the, the motors. Okay? And in this, another uh, function you'll be uh, using backward no so in your main function all you have, all you can see is the declare forward function then with some delay then backward function the details is found on the different functions if you're going to make all of your codes here in the main function then it will be difficult for you to analyze uh, which part is uh, logically uh, incorrect 
no it will be difficult for you to troubleshoot that's why it's very it's a very good practice that if you have a very long code might as well place that in a function so that every time you call the main function there are only few you no know, few few codes you can see so, so it can easily debug no debug your uh, your codes okay so anyway we're gonna do it in in cpp droid okay so we need to erase this part okay so now there is no code found in the main function first so let's create a hello so hello is a function okay then it has a data type void so you can use integer but void could be fine so its task is to print if or the print uh, in your console okay uh, the task is uh, by the way if we will be disconnected uh, kindly reconnect because this is just free hello okay so this is the task uh, just uh, display hello then do not forget the the terminator then again you need to create another uh, function no this time let's say it could be function one or function two but i prefer to use the word world the brand if world okay and do not forget to write uh, terminate okay so you notice that there is no codes found in the main function so if you're going to play this one okay play okay so it's nothing there's nothing okay so if i'm gonna call hello only so i'm gonna simply type hello now with our open close parenthesis because that's how a function is being defined oh what's the error hello hello here's up hello okay so let's try to save ah okay so let's define first the prototype void hello okay void uh, world is it capital is the world by the way uh C programming is uh, case sensitive, so that's why you need to type the exact word, no, capital or small letter. Okay, so we are now declaring a global prototype, fu uh, uh, function prototype, okay, because it's saying that there is an error. Okay, let's compile. play okay so why is it that it's only hello in our terminal anybody the function the function the okay so because in the main very good no it's because in the main function we only call this is what is known as function call we only call hello no function okay by the way in this cpp droid you need to add this uh, prototype okay let's try this uh, in 
I don't know if can can copy this one. Can I copy? Let's try this in code blocks. Like if I can copy or paste. Ah, okay. So in code blocks, I guess the prototype is not required. Let's try to compile this one. Oh, how can I move this one? Okay, so in code blocks, prototypes are no longer uh, required. All right, so take note. I, I haven't included a prototype here. So it's still a running. Hello. But anyway, let's go back to where is the CPP droid. Okay, but in CPP droid, uh, the the prototype function prototype is needed because otherwise there will be error uh, below. Okay, so let's complete the task. The task is to display hello world. So the next uh, function I'm gonna call is hello the world. No? So let's save. Then. Compile. Okay, then run. Okay, so there you go. You see now, hello world. Well, two spaces apart. Okay. Any question? May pangutana? Okay, kung wala. Okay, sir. Throw. Ipa-horizontal ni Mr. Okay, so kung pa horizontal na ni mo, mo na ni mong assignment. Wala na ni mong assignment, oh. Make a program in C code for horizontal hello. Implemented using functions. Okay, so there are many ways and how are you going to do that? It's up to you. Unsa ano na ni mo? Your next assignment is actually displayed in in our use step, no? Assignment four five. It's the same thing, no? using functions, but this time vertical hello world. Okay, so that is your assignment. I'm not going to answer the assignment for you. Okay, so based on our example, based on our example, you need to invoke your critical thinking. No, no. Based on the these examples, let's say this one, you know that if you're going to add new line it will be vertically displayed if you're going if you're not going to add a new line it will be horizontally displayed so that's the small challenge actually it's not that, that uh, difficult okay no, no, ten, sir. Not very, it's not that difficult if you don't have any questions now let's proceed to